It was a short trip from Ephesus to the Greek island of Patmos. Here we are, it's Wednesday morning, and we're anchored just off the island of Patmos. And in the distance there you can see the little tender uh, boat headed our way. That's how they're taking passengers on and off the boat. Patmos is a small crescent-shaped volcanic island, about 24 square miles in size. We dropped anchor at the uh, spot where you see on the map and then went into the port city of Scala where we jumped on a bus, went up the hill to Patmos and the historical sites that were located there. It was uh, in the year 92 when St. John was exiled to the island of Patmos. Now, uh, when we're talking about the year 92, Greece at that period is part of the Roman Empire. And uh, don't forget that the first century is a period when Christianity is very, they're starting to spread Christianity into the Roman Empire. And uh, uh, people uh, uh, in, in those uh, times sent into exile. So it was during uh, this uh, year when St. John was sent into exile to the island of Patmos. Why was he sent over here? Because this island over here was uninhabited. Mm -hmm. This island over here, the major cities that existed in the area were the uh, cities of Patmos, or the city of Ephesus, which was a very significant Greek city-state that had become an even larger commercial center during the Roman period. Uh, and um, uh, Paul, we have followed the journeys of Paul uh, from Corinth. After preaching Christianity in Corinth for two years, he left and he went uh, to Ephesus. And of course, St. John spent in Ephesus uh, uh, quite a number of his uh, years. This is the entrance to the convent of the Apocalypse. We walked in through this entryway and then down a f several flights of marble stairs to the entrance to the cave and the, uh, or the grotto, actually, of the Apocalypse. It was there where uh, uh, the Apostle John um, had his visions for the Book of Revelation. Uh, they didn't allow us to take photography uh, inside the cave, uh, so I snagged a bunch of shots off the web that do show you how it's decorated. It's a, it's a bit gaudy. Uh, the area where he actually uh, lay was fairly austere, but they've decorated it up quite a bit. in the courtyard, in the exterior areas of the monasteries, but you're not allowed to take any photographs in the monastery, in the church where we are going to, no photography is allowed, no video. So just in the exterior, and there's very good views on the top as well. So I shall be uh, guiding you through the church. Here is artwork from the exterior walls and the ceiling. And then on the inside, we visited an ornate chapel and museum with ancient manuscripts, which we couldn't photograph. Now we're outside the museum by the bells. Here's the view walking down from the monastery. Even with its sparse vegetation, Patmos is a charming, picturesque, and tranquil island of whitewashed houses and churches. We just loved it.
now we're back down in the town, taking in the sights, and uh, really enjoying the local artwork and architecture. And the natural beauty is stunning. We just love all these little one-man fishing boats. Well, again, you can see why the color of Greece is blue. Uh, the sea here is really a incredibly deep blue color. You can see the blue everywhere. It's in their flag and their traditional colors, clothing, and so forth. Uh, it's an important color here. And there's a view of our ship docked out there. The tender is coming to the port here at Patmos to pick us up. Had a fun day here on Patmos. We'll scan around. Probably the little boat will head back on. That's it from Patmos. Tomorrow will be roads. I gotta go capture the massacre over here. Okay, this is really well done. Excellent. Let's see the got the eyes. Hey, quit playing with your food. Yeah.